That's awesome. Terry's like, makeup. I'm here in Austin, Texas, capital of the Lone Star State. Known for its variety of amenities that cater to its eccentric live music and art scene, great food, and parks to take in the natural beauty, locals strive to keep Austin weird. Today we're here to see how communities are adapting and making their own amenities accessible in this new environment. Join me as we keep Austin weird and get back to work. I'm Terry Danner, and after spending 30 years in the multifamily industry, I believe that our on-site teams are the everyday unsung heroes. They make it look easy to get hard stuff done, and are consistently working to keep our community safe. Most of the world is getting back to work after quarantine, but our on-site teams never stopped working. That's why I'm on a mission from coast to coast to find the people that are stepping up in difficult times. During this series, we're going to talk about best practices and how teams are adapting to new challenges. I may even get a little dirty along the way. So join me as we learn about the tough stuff that keeps our industry moving and celebrate the people behind it. Let's get back to work. Known for technology, innovation, and startups, Austin has been attracting newcomers for years, making it the fastest growing city in America. Here to tell me more about all Austin has to offer is Austin Apartment Association President-Elect and longtime friend, Stephanie Park. Hey Terry, it is great to see you in our great state capital. Austin is not only known to be the number one fastest growing city in America, we're also known for being the best place to live in America. Austin is known for technology, but we have a thriving multifamily industry that contributes $33 billion to the local annual economy. Wow, I knew I should have moved to Austin 20 years ago when I came to Texas. Well, Terry, funny that you say that. It has been estimated that 152 people move to Austin a day. With that being said, we need 8,000 new apartment units to be built in Austin annually to keep up with the demand. In fact, RPM is currently working with some amazing multifamily developers on 17 new lease-up communities right here in Austin, Texas. Those will be added to our current portfolio of 71 communities in Austin. So I'd love to invite you over to the co so we can show you some of our amenities that our residents have come to enjoy in Austin. Hi Terry, welcome to the Copeland. This community was built in 2019. We have 328 units and over 500 residents. Over the past few years, developers have put a heavy emphasis on the amenity package and resident social life. And with everything going on, I can imagine it's been tough navigating how to provide access to all of the amazing amenities here at the Copeland. It has, but the team has done a great job. In fact, today we're going to show you how we do it here at the Copeland. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. So Terry, this is our resident lounge. So in order to keep groups smaller than 10, we are going to move this chair into the center here and this chair into the center here. This would create conversation pods to encourage residents to not be in groups more than 10. When COVID initially hit, we actually had to shut down all of our amenities. Then we were able to reopen with our reduced hours and that has helped tremendously. I think our residents have adapted well and are very happy that we're able to still give them access to the amenities while keeping everything clean and a safe environment for them. Oh, Shelby, I love shuffleboard. Want to play? Terry, unfortunately we can't play today. Some of our amenities are closed due to the pandemic. How you adjust the amenities in this pandemic, right, to keep the residents safe. Unfortunately not, Terry. We've got to organize these amenity areas where no more than 10 can gather. But it is understandable that all of the things that I was trying to touch and do are gone. So here at the pool, one of our most popular amenities, especially in the summer, we have to socially distance. So we will be needing to socially distance our pool chairs. At one point, Shelby's talking about kind of not just the physical things that we do, but the resident's reaction. When you're social distance, it's like messes up the environment, right? And, you know, people just don't have the lifestyle that they want. And so dealing with the range of emotions, I, I got to believe that the staff has a difficult time. Great job, Terry. Let's head inside. All right. So Terry, as you can see here, we have socially distanced our machines. We ask our residents to wear masks and sanitize the machines before and after. So is this another one of those areas where we, you would limit access to 10 individuals? Absolutely. Kendall, great to see you. What are you doing here? I'm here to get a workout. Why don't you join me? All right, let me get changed. I'll come right back in. Sounds good. All right.
I think with Grace Hill and some of our training and policies, we've seen a couple of different things. You know, right at first, everybody was wanting policies and procedures and training around how to keep amenities clean and safe where people could keep using them. And then you saw the next shift, which was, we're gonna shut everything down because that's the way we can keep everybody safe. And then it was like, well, okay, now we've learned more. How do we reopen them? So we have courses and policies all about all three of those stages all the way through. Shelby has handled the ups and downs of amenities with ease. Being supported by our industry and supplier partners um, will mean a lot for her, for her future growth and education and leadership in the industry. Shelby, I want to thank you. Uh, these are truly difficult times, uh, but it's obvious to me that you and the team at the Copeland have it down when it comes to managing amenities. Thank you for being a representative to the entire industry. Thank you for keeping your residents safe. And I want to thank you for everything I learned today and, and hopefully our viewers learn today, not just about the physical side of, of, of how we handle amenities in this pandemic, but the emotional side, right? That you and your team have to deal with day to day as you're working with the residents to keep them safe. So thank you. I also have some other friends in the industry here who would like to thank you. Grace Hill and NAA, we would like to present you with a scholarship to expand your credentials and that you can extend your career through the online courses through NAA. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I feel very honored. Just continuing my growth in the industry is, is my goal. And at HD Supply, on behalf, we would like to uh, celebrate you and thank you for everything that you do for your community. Um, and we wanted to give you this gift. Oh, thank uh -huh. you. I know this is something that wasn't on Shelby's radar. And to be able to support her and the industry and what she's chosen, it means a lot. But wait, Shelby, there's more. We have one more special message from Jason Berkowitz, president and founder of RPM for you. Hey Shelby, it's Jason. I just want to thank you so much for all you do for RPM and for your community at the Copeland. It's true that we have the privilege of managing beautiful communities, but as we like to say, it's the people behind the properties that make the difference. And again, thanks and congratulations. Aww. Seven years with a company that still can circle back after seven years and highlight people that are on the front lines is really amazing. I feel very supported. I feel like as a company, we have overcome so much and we're growing so much that it's just more support and I'm thankful. Well, it's easy to see why Austin is the fastest growing city in America. From the amenities at the Copeland to the amenities throughout Austin, it's also easy to see why Austin is ranked as the best place to live in America. In this pandemic, on-site teams are stepping up to keep our residents socializing safely. Today proved that's not always as easy as it sounds. To all of our industry professionals, you are the heart that keeps Austin weird. I hope you join me next time as we get back to work. Hey Terry, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> that our residents have come to enjoy. <laughs> So here we're gonna. <laughs> I like working with her. <laughs> Till and NAA, we would like to present you with a scholarship tech helmet. Unfortunately, Terry, we cannot play today. <laughs> <laughs>